Charlie, Charlie and Lulu. Johannesburg. Confidential. Reference prior fox. Blah, 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 etc., etc. 338 6 Charlie, Charlie, Bravo. Circulation. Restricted list 004. Priority. Mm -hmm. Observation of suspect Magdalena Stewart commenced at 1735 hours at the Supreme Court building, Johannesburg, by special DIS teams under my personal command. She's sticking to her Friday pattern. Let's go straight to the market. That's where she'll be. I came to the police. It wasn't your fault, it was mine. The other one got herself killed. That leaves it up to this young lady, too. The pendant is a miniaturized hypodermic. There was a smell of burnt almonds. The poison was probably a cyanide derivative, lethal and fast-acting. I want the medical report on the girl immediately. Send a copy directly to Captain Ruth. Yes, sir. Congratulations seem to be in order, Captain. We closed an important information leak in military affairs, following proper departmental procedures for a change. Mrs. Ivers? Captain? I want our computers to be happy. One day you may even come to appreciate them, Captain. Well, they may have put in a bit of overtime, sir. I'd like to keep this case file open. Open? Magdalena Stewart is dead, and so is her contact. That's part of my thinking. There wasn't enough involved for a young, attractive woman like Magdalena Stewart to commit suicide. Based on circumstantial evidence alone. Her alternative was 20 to 30 years in prison for espionage. Well, last night I searched her apartment. Everything, with proper authorization, everything seemed in order except for a flight schedule for a particular diplomatic courier from London, Lord Ormsby. It was part of her duties to book passage for diplomatic careers. It was an on-again, off-again flight. Three different changes which none of her superiors knew about. Could be a foreign contact. I also found this in her office desk. The flight number is written on the map. There's also a pin mark here on the Zambezi near Tuku.
pinhole could have been made accidentally. I'd like to alert the border guard. Set up a special patrol in the area for the next few days. Any air patrols? Aircraft flies over twice a day. Noon and just before sunset. They've got 2,000 miles of border to cover. We're quite used to getting things into South Africa, without any hitch. Make it sound so simple, don't you? years in the diplomatic service, I've never been so totally insulted, demeaned, and embarrassed by the department of a supposedly friendly nation while carrying out the functions and duties of my office. Reservations confirmed, reservations cancelled, everything definite and postponed indefinitely, and then to be subjected to this incredible breach of diplomatic propriety. Stop. How dare you? These unusual changes you're complaining about, the cancellations and reinstatements, did they originate from our office of military You've affairs? no right to interrogate me, bloody idiots, all of you. Answer me. Yes, your Office of Military Affairs is responsible. And believe me, there's going to be a thorough investigation from top to bottom, including you, Captain Roos. This may cost you your job, sir. Zip up your fly. That settles our payment to you in full. Except for what they banked for you back in the States. It's none of your business. No, I didn't say it was. What about the explosives? This job doesn't require explosives. I told me how to do my job. You don't need napalm and corridor to kill one old man. And I'm not interested in your opinions, you got that? What the hell are you doing now? I'll meet you later in Johannesburg. You're not crossing with us. That's right. Hell, you don't. We've had enough trouble with you. When you refused to fly to Johannesburg as a diplomatic courier, we went to a lot of trouble to get these new arrangements. So change it. Marudu wasn't designed to satisfy your whims, Cardiff. You swore allegiance to us. I swore to do a job my own way in my own time. So don't you lecture me about any principle. Cardiff. Shoot behind them. Arrest them.
It's hard to believe, huh, Zinga? It's been a long time, Brother Raymond. No, no, no. No more Brother Raymond. You forget that name in those days. My new name is Michael Carter. That's what I'm known as a white man, you understand? Uncle Benjala. Yeah, Uncle Benjala. <laughs> Fine, you remember the Zulu I taught you. But what about you Afrikaans? As a black man in Johannesburg, you need to be fluent in English and Afrikaans. Oh, me Afrikaans. Yes, I'm for 100%. How did it go with the bag? That's a good. We were waiting for him. It was an ambush. They killed Tom and took it. He won't talk. He's a dedicated revolutionary. Doesn't guarantee me anything. I'm saying you got something to drink. No. You want to be a proper African. You clap when you're given something. By a white man. By anyone. And the bow of the head. Austrian citizenship, a history of political activism in Italy, Greece, and Algeria. He and his partner, Leonard Talman, have been working with the Camerudo organization for at least six years. They've been operating in mid-Africa. I know that you're wasting your time. I have the legal right to remain silent. Keep it for 90 days or 90 years, it won't make any difference. Our undercover agents believe Yates' primary assignment was to collect arms and explosives and get them to the Kamarudu underground, operating outside of the border. There are detailed reports of suspected shipments, plus their other activities. Peas of salad, broiled crayfish, escalloped potatoes, fresh peas, Chateaubriand Francais, flan, and café au lait. Feeling neglected? Totally. They can't see through the glass. Makes me nervous. Still the unsophisticated farm boy from the vet's door. Where and when is this gourmet feast going to take place? At an intimate little night spot in Hillbrow that I know. About 8 o'clock tomorrow night. It doesn't add up. Yates is an underling at best. What connection could Magdalena Stewart have with him? I have another little question I can put on your list. Yates had no personal identification on him. But he had this. Whitfield. Those papers must not be examined to closely. Above all, avoid the black police. They don't look too bad. That's not what I'm talking about. You may think your disguise is perfect, but clothes on, it won't fool us. Any African will know you're not genuine. Instinct, huh? More complicated than that. I only care about the whites being invisible to them. Just remember, my friend, there are more blacks than whites. Six to one. Six to one, huh?
Welcome to your home. Johannesburg hasn't changed, has it? How's my old friend, Judge Whitfield? As of yesterday, still very much alive. For a while, when he was in the hospital, I thought I might miss his funeral. You damn well may have a long wait. He's well on his way to recovering it in the States. I guarantee you one thing, my friend. This time he won't recover. Should someone shoot me? What a waste of effort. How long can I last? A week, a month, six hours? As it is, my very existence is a marvel of medical science. You look healthy enough, Judge. Every for heaven's sake, man, we've been friends for too long for this kind of flattery. Yes, come in. Actually, I was only concerned that he ever had any dealings with the Secretary in Department of Military Affairs, Magdalene Stewart. I know. Come and take this glass. Ah, her. I once saw a photograph in a newspaper. I may be seen her, but I'd have remembered her if she ever contacted me. Hey, wait a moment, Everett. You're not suggesting that I'm connected with her group in any way? Perhaps. As a target. But the other alternative had occurred to you. Well, of course it had. I'm sure I like that. The Supreme Justice of South Africa, in reality a mastermind of terrorism. I'm sure we will drink to that. Nurse. Oh, you must drink to it. A whiskey for Captain Lewis. Is your drink, isn't it? Of course. Yes, whiskey. Oh, go on, go on. Large one. I noticed you had a guard at the gate and one inside. Are there others? The nurse. I suggest at least two more professionals, day and night. Sir, the judge is strictly forbidden alcoholic beverages. I hope you understand. I'll see that he behaves. Ah, Everett, you have a soul. The DIS will provide the guards I suggested. Ah, oh, man, I might be on politics, the last great South African institution. I mean, what can the bloody fools gain? It's a disgrace, it's an outrage. Everyone would turn against them. They want attention, Judge. Yes, a senseless business. Yes. Excuse me, sir. The Prime Minister's just arrived. Show him in, show him in. Don't William, you look ready for battle. Marius, if you can, we are unannounced and must be predicting my imminent demise. On the contrary, I thought you might be healthy enough to listen to my problems for a change. Captain Everett Lewis of Internal Security. Captain Russ. One of the men who keeps me prisoner, no matter where I go. You managed to get away to see me. Nonetheless, in the present circumstances, I appreciate them, Captain. Thank you. You must excuse me. I've taken up enough time already. Come again, Everett. We'll discuss it further over another drink. Talk to you, Captain. I'll have my nurse mix you a drink. A whiskey. A whiskey for the Prime Minister.
Mm. I knew how not to. When my husband was killed in that mine explosion, I didn't think I could ever get close to another man. We had something so special. But I was so young. And then, when I met you, I made no mistake about why I was attracted to you. I admired the way you were so involved and so obsessed and so dedicated I knew you would never overwhelm me. But now the tables have turned. I want to laugh and I want to be silly and I want to go dancing and I want to make love to you and I want to spend all my time with you. It's ironic. The very things I admired about you frighten me now. I've worked ever since I was six years old. When I left the farm, I knew it was going to be difficult for me. I wasn't educated. I didn't know how to behave amongst city people, sophisticated people. I'm an ox. Except when I'm working. Well, that's why I wrapped myself up in it. It was my whole life. Until I met you. I don't know if I can change. But even if I don't show it, I need you, Julia. Oh, yeah, to try to commit suicide. Hanged himself with a piece of wire just after the interrogation session. Where'd you get the wire from? Oh, we don't know, Captain. He was under maximum security surveillance. He may have found the wire. Someone may have given it to him. Or someone got to him. Not likely, sir, that there will be an inquiry. A fat lot of good that will do now. His jagged vein was almost completely severed. Massive internal bleeding. Chances are very slight. Will he regain consciousness? Possible to predict. Keep him alive, Doctor. He may be the only lead I have.
all over the design and has such nice taste. To me, it's perfect. How much is this dress? <laughs> I'm going to sell them now. Does the price make a difference? You're an American, aren't you? I love the States. I've always wanted to go there. I'm an American, and you're trying to change the subject. Are you going to take it? No, no, I'm not. Why not? I can't afford it. Well, why don't you treat yourself? Don't you think you deserve it? Hmm? It's too silly even to talk about it. Oh, but you want that dress, don't you? I can see that. You want it. Let me ask you a question. If, um, if you can take that dress without having to pay for it, I mean, if you can have it, would, would you take it then? Not pay for it. That's right. Would you take it? Yes, I suppose so. Then take it. Go on, take it. It's so wrong. Oh. I, I want to do it. Security is upset. The judge is all right. I suppose it never occurred to you that this was highly irregular, especially that late. Of course, but hell, man, I've known Susan. I mean, uh, Skunto. It was none of my business. Did you get a good look at the man? I think I could identify him. All right, I want you to come down to headquarters and go through the criminal file. So, uh, you think he killed her? Looked like an accident to me. And then she tripped on top of the stairs and fell. The guy panicked and ran away. <laughs> oh, it wasn't unexpected, Captain. When I last saw him, he was in fine spirits. Well, you know. Was he given medication this morning? No. Doctor, I don't want anything touched in this room. Nothing, understand? Especially those medicines. And I want an autopsy. Captain, you have no authority. I'll get the authorization. But I warn you, Doctor, take care. Judge Woodfield may have been assassinated. Try this one. Yeah. All right. 
go through all the ID files if necessary, A to Z. If he comes up with something, let me know. I'll have a sketch put up and tell you why immediately. Then I'll be at the hospital with Carl Yates. Thanks. We have him, Yates. You hear me? Internal security has him, Yates. He's told us everything. Is he the leader? His name, Yates. His name. Stop it. Come on, Yates. His name. This will be reported, Captain. Your behavior is completely unethical. Like your information is correct. Original mine shaft, interconnecting tunnels to the new mines. I shouldn't have any problems getting what I need. Pay your friends well. I have. But what are you after? Are there any guards to check this property? No. None of these derelict mines are guarded. Straight down for two miles. Straight down to hell. Listen to that. <laughs> Listen to that. Why don't you leave it now? With Judge Whitfield dead, isn't your mission accomplished? What do you mean, finished? Who was Judge Whitfield, huh? What the hell was he anyway? Just a figurehead. All the rest of them that had the power. They gave me authority to sit in and judge us and condemn us. Well, I want the rest of them. I want them dead. I've only wanted to forget them. I can't forget them even in my sleep. From the day I escaped from that prison, all I could think of was coming back here. You say you want to forget them, but you can't. You're not the same person anymore. I look at you as like looking at a mirror. I see the pain in your face. But why is it to forget? Don't talk me out of it, Mzinga. Don't. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll finish with my plans tonight. Come pick me up first thing in the morning. I work alone now. The lab report confirms what I suspected, sir. Traces of curare derivative in the medicine. Enough to kill a man, but not enough to show up without an autopsy. You didn't know that at the time you authorized the autopsy. I had justifiable the cause. The doctor says that none of the medicine was administered. Well, then the autopsy will be the final proof. You don't seem to understand, Captain. It's your high-handed conduct overriding all the rules and procedures of the department that I'm questioning. First, there was a diplomatic courier. Now I've been notified that the hospital intends filing charges because of your unauthorized interference with a patient under their supervision. I believe Yates could have known the man who was at Judge Woodfield's estate. Could have. Could have. We don't deal in could have, Captain. We deal in facts and proof exclusively. Thank you. No foreign substance was found. Judge Whitfield died of natural causes.
you are an ox. Do you think I enjoy seeing you pretending to be happy when I know you're an ox? Well, I should be able to preserve my mind. Today wasn't an ordinary day in the computer center. There were rumors in the ladies' room that you were going to be suspended. Fine. That's the best thing that ever could happen in my life. Unless you're right. I am right. Whatever happened to Judge Whitfield is no isolated incident. It's part of something, something bigger. I can sense it. But what? And when? And where? Yeah, where? Mm. Where What is it, Everett? If Judge Whitfield wasn't the target, what did they gain by his death, regardless of how he died? If they want to draw attention to themselves, get publicity. They need to be so special. You see what I'm getting at? With Whitfield dead, there must be a state funeral. Every important person in the country will attend. Or here in Johannesburg at one time. Whoever the real targets are, they would be vulnerable. Why well, security aren't perfect enough to cover everyone every minute? That begins to answer some of our questions. But Julian. I know. You want to go. I have to. There might be something I've overlooked, something I've missed. Well, you don't mind if I stay, do you? There's no sense in losing both dinners. Okay. Taxi. Crocodile. Plastic. Even when you prime this, it's still easy to handle. Feeds on oxygen. Gives off a hell of a hit. But there's so little of it. <sighs> Doesn't take much. Just a little while ago, North of Zambezi used about, uh, about a third of this. A little hut sky high. And there are they? Well, this is it. Mm -hmm. It's a booby trap. Guess I'm not here. Anybody tries to come through that door, there won't be anything left, so don't come in here. If I'm not around, I don't want to go looking for your pieces. I want to show you something. This is the other one. Control. Just watch it. One, two, three, four. Watch it. Five, six, seven. You re educated yourself these old days. Oh, yeah, I went to school, all right. Most important revolutionary groups in the world. They taught me, taught me everything. I learned them. You bring the paper? In the truck. That's what I want to see. Let's take a look at it. When I heard Judge Woodfield had a heart attack, I knew the time had come, so I contacted Con Maruto. They hired me to do this job. They pay me well. You took their money? Sure, why not? That's all they believe in, no matter what they preach. So I don't believe it. There are stories about a fire in one of the mines. Here's what I'm looking for. Funeral arrangements. Ooh, I don't know where. It's just perfect. There's also the... Not a very good light, actually. 
Where'd it come from? Eternal cat. They'll be looking in the wrong places for the wrong color. What should you do? Exactly what I planned. But what do you plan? When you're Brother Raymond, you shared everything with us. Before Brother Raymond doesn't exist. But if nothing else remains from those days we had together, at least you should trust me. Don't talk to me about trust. The less you know about me, the better off we both are. I told you before, I work alone. Identification, please. Sorry, Captain. Some of our agents do follow procedures, Captain. You want to see me, sir? Yeah. You know I'm taking charge of security arrangements for the funeral. From now on, the church will be guarded day and night by security officers, supplemented with the electronic warning system. Even at the funeral, no one will be admitted without proper authorization and credentials, not even the Prime Minister himself. In view of your relationship with Judge Whitfield, I had considered placing you in charge of the funeral cortege. However, I've had to change those plans. Carl Yates died this morning. It's been strongly recommended I place you on indefinite suspension. But, but I must be here. I want you out of sight, Captain. I want you to do the job assigned to you without any unauthorized action. Is that clearly understood? Yes, sir. You'll be in charge of installing the electronic warning system at the mortuary, similar to the one we have here. You're expected immediately. idea of the effort and planning involved in providing a dignified and reverent interment. I used to think that the security chaps would have more important things to do on an occasion such as this. Mm, I'll drink to that. I beg your pardon? No, just think out loud. Oh, it's unlocked. Does it happen often? Occasionally. Is this the corridor you'll bring out Judge Whitfield's coffin? A casket, Captain, casket. It's down the steps in the slumber room at the end of the hall. And now, if you'll excuse me, there are so many things that require my personal attention. Oh, when my agents arrive, you might tell them where I am. This is all so unnecessary. It's very, very inconvenient. And please, Captain, we're waiting for the varnish to dry on Judge Whitfield's casket, so don't touch anything. Mm -hmm.
There are other DIS agents outside. They have no chance of getting away. I'm at the door. You can't get out. Don't overestimate yourself. They'll have the lights back on any moment. Until they do, I rather think it's you and I, my friend. Come on. This game is finished. Quite far from finished, I assure you. Did he come this way? Did you see him? Did you see him, a white man? No, boss. Only working. No white man, no. Well, someone could have tampered with it. Or we may have left it unfinished ourselves. They're not certain. The lab crew's just arrived, sir. Someone's entirely checked for fingerprints. Especially the coffin. Oh, coffin. Corridor, sir. Yes, sir. I want to be positive about this. Is it possible that there was an emergency call in that area? I see. So there was no road work on any of the roads near the mortuary. Thank you. I seem to be in trouble with everyone. Commander Ulfabirk is waiting for your report. Report? going to have to wait. I want to use your machines. My dehumanizing computers. I want files on every black sympathizer with any of the terrorist movements, no matter how remote their connection may be. I'll concentrate on the Kamaruda group first. Just locally? Everywhere. I want their photographs pulled and screened. Now, here's the requisition form for the projection room. I'll get the duplicate and the triplicate later. That could take us all night to get through everyone. Probably. I see. Julia. We'll have the first batch within one hour, Captain Ruth. After all, Judge Whitfield was South Africa's most distinguished jurist, you know. There has been a rumor that there are going to be security problems. Uh, I'm quite sure that the Department of Internal Security will look after them. We have just concluded an interview in a Johannesburg City Hotel with the Reverend Martin Hensley. He will be representing Judge Woodfield's home parish at the funeral service tomorrow. Now we return you to our... Well, we have a lot of work to do. We have to pack everything tonight and move to the mine tomorrow. We won't be back here. We'll be there tomorrow. Are you worried? After what happened this afternoon, yeah, I'm worried. But the agent didn't see you. He saw you look right in your eyes. Then they'd run the profile on the DI. I can check on that. And check on it right away. If they ran a make on it, you have to keep out of sight. That won't be necessary. I'm telling you what to do. There are still places to go in the cells. Places where we can start over again. Where we could never be found. We can go back to the old life. The old life is finished. It's over. Almost. Don't you remember? I'm 
I've told you what to do. Yes, boss. I do just what my boss tells me. I'm a good camper, boss. A good camper. ordered my arrest, and they're on their way now. We'll have to split up after the truck. Yes, we can meet later at the mine. What if you don't make it? What if they find you? They won't. There are many places to hide you.
Black man, boss. He was looking like a black man, but he wasn't black. He looked like this. It might have been. Wait here for the other agents. There are references to an arrest record in Conjury some years ago. What charges? Oh, conspiracy. A revolution even then? Mm, somewhat unusual. He was the follower of a religious maniac called Brother Raymond. A white man? Yes. He was living illegally in a restricted area and he became a hero amongst the natives. What happened to him? Well, he was also arrested at the same time. Um, for conspiracy and for inciting the Africans to unite. Classified as a terrorist and sentenced for 20 years hard labor. Well, let me see his present file. Well, they were closed eight years ago. Apparently, this brother Raymond drowned himself in an attempt to escape from prison. Apparently. Well, a decomposed body with his prison tags was found in St. Lucia's swamp some months after his escape. But positive identification was impossible. Well, get me his records, every one of them. That will take some time. That's the one thing we haven't got. I want my case to be airtight when I present it to Ufabeek. This public funeral for Judge Whitworth has to be cancelled. Ufabeek won't do it. He can't. He must. We're dealing with a fanatic who's just daring us to stop him. We can't give him his chance. Well, Amsley? Yes. I'm from Internal Security. My orders are to drive you to the church. Oh, good, man, good. You know, I can never find my way around town. Do you have your ID and identification papers with you? Of course. May I see them, please? Do you care for all these? For here, you know. They were the judge's favorite clown. By the way, he was baptized in our parish. Yes, I know, in Zululand. Do you know him? I had the pleasure of meeting him once. I mean, uh, it was twice. Oh, yeah, they are. Thank you, that's fine. I just want to make sure they were there. Thank you. The I am. Mm -hmm. You're American. Well, no, I was born right here in the Transvaal. I just took training there in security. What language is it up? My art. You see? How's your car? It's right outside. The we will not cancel the services under any circumstances, Captain. We look like utter incompetence in the eyes of everyone. We do not compromise with terrorists, much less capitulate in the face of mere rumors. This isn't rumors. This man is real. I've seen him, heard his voice. I've I heard your reports, Captain. 
I don't discount the possibilities you suggest. So we're dealing with a maniac? Captain, the only maniac I'm concerned with at this moment is you. Despite every warning, you've continually and consistently disobeyed orders. Ignored regulations, been guilty of direct insubordination. Sir, if I could have a special squad in the church tomorrow morning... You don't it. seem to grasp what I'm saying, Captain. As of this moment, you are suspended indefinitely. Hello. Oh, uh, Julia. Yeah, I'm still here, but I'm almost finished. No, 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 I'm fine. Tomorrow I'm going to take a drive into the country and the whole damn city can blow up. And I won't bet an eyelid. Oh, don't worry, love. I'll see you in an hour or so.
Bischof is in die naam van die Heere wat hemel en aarde geschapen heeft. Amen. Geliefdes, ons groet u in die naam van die Vader en van die Zoon en van die Heilige Geest. Ons gee nou vir die verteenwoordigers van die verschillende instanties die geleentheid om een kraans bij die kust te kom leiden. Church. No. Inside on a time or operate by remote control. We have a few moments. Get the demolition unit. Tell Commandant Overbeek I'm at the parking lot. Sorry, Father. I'll have to see your papers. Yes, yes. Of course. Of course. Nobody's supposed to be out here now. Yeah! Captain Rosie Parkertering. It's a man and help him. Yes, sir.
Captain Roosevelt. Komt in, Commander Overbeek. This is Commander Overbeek. Suspect on motorbike, heading west. I'm unarmed, but following in Mayfair District. Keep in contact, Captain. Hold on in the car, up. Hold fine. Captain Roos to Commandant Overbeek. Overbeek here, ready Captain Roos. Suspect at the abandoned Corinth mine on the dirt road in southeast sector 7. Victor Alpha Lima. We read you Captain, we'll be in your sector within six minutes. Maintain surveillance. Yes sir, out. <laughs> 